And Praz, so they're getting back, Ford is getting back into Formula One, the need for speed, need for prestige, <laughs> kind of costly there, partnering up with what Red Bull Racing, Oracle Red Bull Racing there. Uh, just tell us the details. Yeah, so, you know, that event was this morning for uh, Red Bull in New York, you know, to debut, debut the new car. Usually this is something that happens in Europe, but the U.S. market's so hot right now with Formula One. So uh, they were there with that new car today we saw it, but then also a, a surprise, uh, Jim Farley rode out in a Mach-E in Red, Red Bull uh, color saying that, hey, we're going to join uh, Red Bull in 2026 as their engine partner, their powertrain partner. That's when new rules for hybrid rules go taking effect with, with uh, Formula One. So they're really excited about that. Jim Farley was there. I spoke to him about that and why this is sort of a two-way street between them and Red Bull. This is a technology transfer that's very specific. We will help them with their software for the battery control and the battery chemistry, the battery tech, because we're investing a lot in EVs. We're going to have 2 million EVs uh, on the road in 26, so we know a lot about EV batteries. On the other hand, we can learn a lot from them about telemetry, but especially about aero. Aero is becoming the most important thing in vehicle design now, and they, the best aerodynamics in the world are at Red Bull. So it's a great exchange of technology. So aero, he means aerodynamics, a big part of EVs to make it more slippery, less sort of resistant. So he said that uh, the aero on the, on the Lightning, if you improve that, could add 75 more miles of range on a charge. So kind of a big deal there. Yeah, certainly would be a huge deal. He's looking forward. He doesn't want to talk, I don't think, anymore about the earnings that we've just gotten. That is for <laughs> sure. Proud Supermanian, thanks so much.